Hey everybody, Jeremy and Alan here from Shade Tree Vintage Auto. Uh, on our way on an adventure, we're gonna go pick up a car in Wyoming, then drop the car off in South Dakota, and then pick up a truck in Wyoming and come home. So it's gonna be kind of an adventure and a road trip, and uh, we're gonna take you along with us. So enjoy. Well, here we are about five hours into our journey and uh, stopped to show all in the uh, hot pots here at Yellowstone. We're standing in the steam getting warm because it's actually like 38 degrees right now. Um, and it feels really good.
Well, everybody, here's what we drove all the way out here to Wyoming for. It's a 1970 Plymouth Satellite. Uh, this was one that I bought and with not sure what my intentions exactly were, but uh, it's already sold. So we're gonna continue on our journey from here in Wyoming to South Dakota, where we're gonna drop the car off. But first, I think we're gonna walk around and look at a few cars here at Performance Auto in Burlington, Wyoming, and uh, see what kind of awesome projects and parts they have laying around here uh, that are for sale. And you can find them on Facebook at Performance Auto and uh, see some of the stuff that they have. And uh, they have really fair prices and quite a few pretty awesome items. Okay, everybody, I'm gonna walk around. I'm gonna show you these cars. Now, just remember, this is like live on location, out here at a yard in like the natural habitat. There's wind and there's other noises and I can't control those. Um, so just enjoy the video. If you can't hear me, I'm sorry. Uh, but that's the reality of this. If you're out here in junkyard or salvage yard or out in the middle of the desert looking at stuff, it's not gonna be perfect weather. Um, anyway, just have fun. There's a lot of really cool stuff to see. Here's a pretty cool 69 Charger. This is gonna be a, just a daily driver beater car. It's pretty cool, it looks pretty good. So here's a couple pretty cool vehicles, but what's really cool is this truck. This is a real plum crazy Dodge truck. You can see the evidence. Plum Crazy, really faded. Plum Crazy always fades to almost a silver color. Adventurer. And it's a big block truck. You can see the Plum Crazy up there. How cool is that? 1970 model. And of course you got the C bodies. Nice Fury fast top. That front end is so cool with the vertical. old car, these dashes just are amazing. Here's a clipper. Sixty seven cornet. Then you got this big town and country wagon. Imagine pulling your dart to the drag strip with that. Nineteen seventy. Got this really clean new port four door. And all of that, I think we might just drive through all of that though. Still 
lá tremendo. Duster out there. There's the world famous 33 Camaro. So it actually had a 383 Mopar on the yeah. three stroke. That's funny. Yeah, it's one before they saw a 33 stroke. Seventy two three forty duster. We got Aspen or Valari. And look at all these Packards over here. Such cool cars. Got Chargers. 71 Charger. Big old Catalina convertible. Nova. Big two-door Cadillac over there. Always wanted it one of those. Cutlass, Galaxy. Satellite, Fury. Another Fury. Ah, oh, that thing got hit hard in this side. It's like a 69 Cornet wagon. 69 satellite four-door. Valare. Another Valare. Chrysler convertible. Another Dodge two-door. Riviera. Psych. Chrysler 300 or Cordoba. Another one. There's one over there. Back over there, too. Got an early Barracuda. Looks like a 64, 65 by the bumpers. There's that Dotson B210 over there. Look at that. I would love one of those. If there would even be a slight chance I could fit in it. Where? Straight down there. Old Dotson. Oh, do I see? This Hudson. How cool is that? That'd be a really cool car. Hudson Hornet. 
There's a opal. One of the ugliest Cadillacs you'll ever see in your life. With this slope back end. Why is it shaped like that? Because that's how they designed it. 71 satellite four door. It's actually one of my favorite four doors right there. Satellite. Wagon. Hey look, it's a Mustang GT350. Not really, but that's what it says on the sticker. Another Fury. This is a really rare car. It's one of those that's really rare for a reason because that's horrible. Yeah, that is absolutely disgusting in my mind. These cars, this one I know is for sale and they're coming up in value. It's like a 69 Chrysler. Not that one, that one. stuff over there. Here's a 300. When I was a kid, I had a 69 300 two-door and it was green on green on green. But that car was so much fun to drive. Loved that car. Sold it to somebody that was gonna restore it supposedly and they derbied it. About made me sick. It was way too clean of a car for that. There's another 71 Charger, or I should say what's left of one over there. Big two-door, looks like a 69 or 70 Newport. Duster, 73 or four. Also had one of those in that same color. In fact, the video you guys may have just watched when I was talking about losing a brake line in a 74 Duster, it was that identical color combination as this. The light blue with the white top and blue interior. That was also one of my favorite cars I've ever had. '69 Polara. 68. Some derby stuff. There's more cars over there. A lot of sea bodies out here. So anybody that's looking for sea body stuff. Another big two-door sea body. There's a yeah, there's a little rabbit over here. 
whole bunch of Dodge truck stuff. For all of you guys who keep asking if I have any swept line stuff, I do not, but out here at Performance Auto, they do have some swept line stuff. So be sure to check them out on Facebook. Uh, trail duster grill he said it's missing the H I think they're all missing the H that is long bro look how long it is crew cab long bed swept line over here if anybody's looking for a crew cab long bed swept line or parts Like more sea bodies out here. Dart Sport. Another rabbit. There's a white 69 dart over here I need to go look at. See if it has a good deck lid for mine. I'd love to find a original white paint deck lid in better condition than what I have. For the rabbit. Couple Mustangs. Oh, looks like the paint's too far gone. Mustang convertible and a Mustang fastback. Couple more A bodies. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that quick little tour. Now we're back on the road and heading to South Dakota. So enjoy.
You know, one thing I absolutely love about doing this and going hauling cars and everything are some of the awesome places that you get to see. Because look how gorgeous this is. Um, we're near a town called Ten Sleep in Wyoming currently. Look how awesome. That is just so beautiful right here. I love it.
Hey everybody, um, while we're on this little trip, we decided to stop at Reptile Gardens again. If you've never been here to Reptile Gardens in Rapid City, South Dakota, it's very well worth it. It's a lot of fun and a lot of cool animals. So I'm just gonna show you a few while we're here. It's a fat frog. It's a fat. I did just one jump. So you So this place is really cool, but unfortunately we got here when it's still a little bit cold. So they're not feeding the alligators, they're doing a lot of things that they do during the summer months. Um, that being said, it's still awesome. Still a lot of fun to go see. Uh, I highly recommend it. Um, anyway, we're gonna get on to some other things now. Unfortunately, we lost most of the satellite, but uh, we've got the hood still. Um, anyway, no, we dropped the satellite off and now uh, we're almost, well, we're about to Lusk, Wyoming, and we've got to pick up a vehicle in Casper and then heading home.
Well, here we are, Casper, and lost a tire on the trailer, uh, and about lost uh, another one, both front ones. So, had to make a quick run to Les Schwab, get the tires, and uh, then we're gonna go pick up a truck and get back on the road, maybe make it home tonight. Okay, a new tire is installed and we're here to pick up this little parts truck or project. I don't know what it's gonna be yet, but a uh, little 80s Dodge, half ton, short bed, two by four. And you can see I already threw what's left of that satellite that we picked up in the back. Uh, now to get it loaded up, and then uh, we'll get on our way. So while I was picking up the truck, I got to look at the van that I'm getting as well. So you guys are gonna get to see more of this here in the future. This is just a little glimpse. I think we'll make this the merch mobile.
So we're back in Utah, but still have a little ways to go. Uh, just had to get a shot because look how beautiful these mountains are out here. Gotta love the red Utah rocks. Well, everybody, I made it back to the yard. Um, probably gonna unload it tomorrow when I get back here to work uh, and decide what to do with it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed just kind of a journey. This is this is what I do. This is what it takes to find these cars and trucks and pick them up and everything. And, um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with. Um, and then be sure to, if you want to see more of the actual road trip, there's gonna be another video I'm gonna post of just road trip parts. Uh, and you're welcome to watch those if you'd like. Um, anyway, thanks again for tuning in. Have a great day.